All right, welcome back to another What the Sheet episode on our Torque Test Tuesdays. Um, so this uh, episode, show, whatever you want to call it, we're going to be testing out this skill half in, or quarter inch impact. Basically the same test I did in the previous video with the right angle impact. The only difference is since this has a low and high speed, we're going to test out the low and high on the tightening to see um, if there is any difference, which I'm assuming there will be on its ability to tighten. And then for loosening, we're just gonna go full on. Um, actually, no, we'll do the same thing. We'll do, we'll see how far it can go in low. And then once it gets there, then we'll go back and we'll switch into high and we'll see how far it can go in high. Stated torque readings on this are 1100 inch pounds, which is 200 inch pounds more than the right angle impact. We're gonna get started on the test. So like I said, then last video, uh, we sprayed everything down with some WD-40 and then we'll do five inches or five seconds of impacts per each bolt and then we'll come back through and we'll break them free and we'll record the the rating like the torque rating and i'll put it on the screen like i did last week and then we'll I'll also do the conversion for you guys and then we'll go straight into the breakaway torque and then i'll um i'll do the two different modes on the drill so i'll be right back Okay, so it didn't want to measure the breakaway torque because it was so low. So we're just gonna go straight into high mode and we'll see what we can do with that. Like I said before, we'll do five seconds and then we'll test breakaway torque on this one or what the torque settings were. Three seventy one. And that one's 412. All right. So now that we've done that, we're going to go into here. Yeah, we're going to do the same thing we did last time. So we'll start at 25, 35, 45, 55, 65. And um, like I said, so we'll, we'll, with this one, we'll do the, the try the low and the high speed. And we'll see um, how far low can break off. And then from there, we will um, move on to the high speed and then we'll just mark them down as to whether they do it or not. There we go. Okay. All right, so we're back in low. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. So low speed, and we're gonna try and go as far as we can, and then we'll I'll put that on the screen, and then we'll go to high speed, and we'll see how far we can go. This should get up to about 90 pounds, assuming that the breakaway torques um, ratings that they put on this are accurate. That's 
45 pounds and low. Alright, so I can't do 55, so we'll switch to high. So this one is 75. Continue. So since we did 95, um, we'll do 100 and then we'll go up by one. So we'll do 100, 100, 100, 200, 300, 4. I don't think it will get past that. I'm assuming, but we'll see. All right, so last one was 110. We did that. These two bolts are replaced because the threads were stretching. So now we're at 112, 114, 116, 118, and then I was trying to do 120 on this one, but the threads were stripping on that. So if we get to that far, I'll have to go find some different bolts and we'll have to test this on another day. All right, so here's 112. 14, 116, 118, all right, well, that's going to do it for, for this guy for today. So I was able to break away uh, a 118 foot pound uh, bolt that was fastened that tight. Um, so whatever 80% of that is, that'd be probably just, I mentioned it's just under 100 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. So that's, as far as I know, more than what it's rated for, which is pretty good for skill. Um, granted, that's up to, you know, a little bit of fudge here and there because of, one, my test rig, and two, um, you know, however they measure their their torque ratings. Um, but I will, I will go find some stronger bolts than these ones. Um, I might have to just go up in a little bit um, bigger diameter bolt, which is fine. And then, um, just cause if, once I get into the 18 volt, 20 volt stuff, I'm gonna need something a little bit stronger. Cause if my 12 volts are already maxing these bolts out, 18 volts are definitely gonna max them out. But so f as far as I know, the skill, um, both of my skills, the right angle impact and this guy have both outperformed uh, on my test rig outperformed what their ratings are so the right angle one i think it maxed out at like 960 if i remember right from the last video and then this one it's already or 960 inch pounds i should say and this one's already gone over that um for sure 
the 1100 foot pound rating that it's got or inch pound rating i should say so, so we're doing pretty good with the skill so far which is good um it's always nice to have more power than what it says it's got um but yeah so next week um, i'll have new bolts uh, bigger diameter bolts that shouldn't hopefully affect the uh, torque ratings um, i will do some testing off camera to make sure that it doesn't affect it. if it does i'll i'll redo the right angle impact and the regular impact as well as next week we're going to do the milwaukee m12 impact that i have that's brushed so we'll see kind of where that fits and like i said at the beginning of the video according to milwaukee that's got a thousand inch pounds of torque so it puts it exactly in between the right angle impact and this the the regular impact from skill on the 12 volt line so it'll be interesting to see if it actually ends up being that way and then after that that's all my eight or all my 12 volts are done so then we'll move on to the 18 volts we'll start with my master force and then move on to the milwaukee and then end up with the matabo because that's the strongest and you know the best quality brushless impact i have and then if we can we'll try and do somewhere right there you can see the uh master force impact gun impact wrench half inch wrench um we'll see if i can get a test on that that one technically is stronger than any measuring tool that i have because that one's that's good for 500 foot pounds so we'll see what we can do with that but i'm trying to think if i got anything else um that's all i got for this one stay tuned for friday's video that'll be the tip out garbage cabinet i just gotta do some last minute touches of that and then it'll be done and that video will be out on friday and then next week like i said we'll do the m12 impact video on tuesday so i'll catch you in the next one peace